Hi guys. Okay, so as you can tell by the title, today's video is probably one of the most important videos I've ever filmed in my life. And I am here to reveal to you Lunar Flower Cosmetics in its entirety, what is happening, what this is, and what this is about. And I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. This is not scripted. I do not know what I'm about to say, and I'm kind of freaking out. So roll with me on this one. It's going to be a lot of cuts gonna be a lot of bloopers okay and we're just gonna do it so if you want to see what this is about and what I'm about to show you and reveal to you just keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do shit we're really doing this <laughs> let me just start off with saying okay for those of you that don't know me my name is Sophia Muhammad I am 21 years old 21 years old I'm a very young girl and I just kind of started the entire business and I've been working on it for almost a year now, almost a year now. And I am really excited and proud to show you what I've been working on. So Lunar Flower Cosmetics, what even are Lunar Flowers? Lunar Flowers are a type of flower, type of plant that they have buds all year but they only bloom one night a year during the night by moonlight there's no sunlight so from sunset from sunrise to they, they bloom and it is one of the most beautiful things you could ever see if you have never seen one or if you've never heard of one look it up you should they're truly wonderful so the brand is really inspired by those and i thought it would be beautiful to name my brand something so unique and beautiful something that's such like a fleeting kind of beauty and the other inspiration behind the brand is like my fascination with like the world and like clouds and nature and trees and plants and space and stars and planets and it just kind of throws all of my love for those things into one one area so yeah i love the world leave me alone <laughs> okay i like nature what can i say um and lunar flower cosmetics was born so and that is how we get to the name of our product which is oh, i'm so excited i'm so excited um that brings me to our first product which is our lunar lip strobe now lunar lip strobe you have to give me some points okay that alliteration my alliteration skills are on 100 you can't tell me anything lunar lip strobe okay patent that okay listen here so i'm just gonna show them to you this here they are they're here they're tubes they're in my hands they're real they're not fake they're this is real life me showing them on camera oh my god um here they are in all of their glory um i'm stressed <laughs> so these are them these are my lunar lip strobes and they are each named after a different moon in our solar system. So I went and searched up, you know, some unique moons, some of my favorite ones that I have. Um, and I named these three after particular ones that I felt matched the colors. So each one has attributes that kind of like make sense. And as I go through and talk about it, I will explain why they're named that and why the colors are what they are and the inspiration behind it really. So, but just to give you a quick introduction to everybody, we have our first shade here. She is our clear. This is Miss Phobos. She is just a clear, a juicy, a lip gloss. And then we have our second shade, which I really love. This is Sharon and, or Sharon, however you want to say it, that's up to you. She's named after Pluto's moon. And she is this glittery, reflective pink gloss. I love this. And then our third member of the family is one that I'm so, so freaking proud of is Io. And it is just the most gorgeous red metallic gloss you will probably put your eyes on. And there's gold reflex in it. If you can't see on camera, I don't know if you can, but there are gold reflex in here and in the pink one as well. She is named Io after Jupiter's moon Io. So these are my three babies, my three lunar lip strobes. So we're gonna do this a couple ways. I'm going to talk to you guys about them, everything else. 
I'm going to do lip swatches for you. I'm going to do arm swatches for you. And then we're gonna talk about how you can get them. So I'm gonna take off this lip because um, this lip gloss actually isn't being released yet. So just gave you a little teaser, but isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? Yeah, no, she's not being released yet. Maybe in the fall, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, so we're gonna take this off so I can do live swatches for you of these three colors. So we're gonna go in order. Shade number one is Bobo's. Now, she was inspired once again by Mars's moon Phobos, if I didn't say Mars before. Phobos is the moon of Mars. And out of all the moons that I had chosen that were unique or like they stood out to me, Phobos was the most kind of basic. Like she didn't have a lot going on. She was just chilling. You know, nothing real crazy like the other ones that I'm about to explain to you pause real quick guys i forgot to tell you guys what phobos's outstanding quality actually is besides that she's a little less interesting than the others is her shape um it's not just circular it's actually really mushed up and it has a really interesting shape that i'll put on the screen for you to look at it has a lot of craters and it's not quite circular so she's plain in color but she's shaped real crazy <laughs> this is perfect for the everyday basic girl and i have a fresh one right here let me get well let me get all mm, um let me get look at her she's just yes and then we have a nice little doe foot so i actually love the doe foot on here a lot not i love the doe foot on here because the there's not a lot of product that comes out and i like it that way because i hate when i'm trying to like put my lip gloss on and like there's just too much product and it gunks up and it gets like outside my lip line i hate that so this gives like a nice amount but not too too much so I'm gonna try to look into my mirror and show you guys. It's just like really, she shines, like she shines nice. And you can go in and go for another coat on top. Yeah, she cute. And yeah, you can leave it down, you can juice it up like I'm doing right now. So yeah, you can dip back in and forth Times, but she gives you this nice pretty like just a nice pretty shine you know let me get closer so you can really see it that is Phobos it's beautiful to wear on its own I'd love to top it with other things but honestly by itself she's a banger yeah now I'm going to show you Sharon Sharon is real cute you can wear her by herself or with something on top which you can do with all of these but all of them you can wear by themselves so i'll show you it by itself first okay so i'm gonna show you sharon which is this gorgeous pink color it's pink with gold reflex i don't know if you can see them on camera honestly they might not show up well enough for you to see them but this is she yep So you can see it's pink, but there also has the glitter in it. Now, you can just go with one dip and have it be like a little bit more natural or whatever. So I'll show you here. This is just how it looks with one dip. As you let it sit on, the sparkles start to kind of like melt into your skin. So it starts to look even more like natural. It's really strange, but it's really wonderful. Um, and then I'll show you if you put on like more than one coat. Hold on, let me get the corner looking right. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I'm not like a professional lip swatcher, so. Okay, and this is it with two coats. So, a lot brighter, a lot more glittery, cute. For me, my favorite way to wear this is either mixed with Phobos, like mix these two together and have it look like a little super juicy with a little pink sparkle in the middle. Or I'll do this on top of like my favorite pinky nude lip. There's like a little glaze like on top. That looks really, really good. Or by itself, if I'm like on the go and I'm like, I don't have no time, I'll wear it just like this. So this is another one that you can like wear mixed on top of something or on top of lipstick. But this is really good for like a, on top of like a pinky nude. Trust me. 
and let me get close up one more time so we can really see her that was Sharon and I didn't explain to you what she was inspired by Sharon is inspired by Pluto's moon and if you don't know about Sharon first of all let's talk about it because I am a dork Sharon is actually like half the size of Pluto so it was kind of debatable they were like well is it really your moon because like it's almost as big as the planet itself and I always just remembered it and I always felt bad for it because they were like oh Pluto's not a planet anymore and I was like what do you mean Pluto's not a planet anymore like I was like elementary school I was like how dare you Pluto's still a planet so I always felt bad because they're like oh well now Pluto's a dwarf planet and now Sharon's a dwarf a moon to a dwarf planet I was like they was really just playing with her life and I didn't appreciate that so I felt like she needed to be specially recognized and I chose it for the pink because it has such a feminine name like Sharon it's just like oh she's cute like she's real you know so I felt like the pink sparkly girly one would match really well with that name so shout out to Sharon and Pluto because Pluto is a planet and fight me on it Re okay Pluto's not a planet God is part of the Kuiper belt let's not have this argument please it, it's not a planet I want it to be a planet it's not a planet okay Kuiper belt it's not it's not okay guys so the last shade is Io and she's very adeptly named it is named after one of Jupiter's moons. Io is one of the most volcanically active bodies in our solar system, if not, I think, the most active. There are hundreds of volcanoes on that planet that are just erupting at all times. Sorry, moon. And, like, there's literally, like, lava geysers okay like io is crazy and i remember it always from childhood because i was like i'm not messing with that moon okay like i don't want no beef like there's so much lava and like fiery smoke red so i felt like this should be such a strong color and it is so i'm gonna present this to you it looks really depending on the lighting this is one of those colors that it changes colors like depending what you're on what you're wearing it with and what your lighting is like it will literally change color so it is a metallic red and this one is a different formula as you have seen all three of them are slightly formulated differently this one is more opaque so i'm gonna need to get a little closer in because my lip line is gonna matter so i'm gonna use a handheld mirror real quick that is Io and uh, she's a pigmented girl oh god I said I was on a professional professional lip swasher right <laughs> I said I couldn't do this right okay look I'm a business person not a model but when you an entrepreneur, girl, you better do it all. Okay. I'm sorry I had to come back. I was nitpicking over my lip line so terribly. I was just like, <laughs> not the best lip swatcher, okay? Not the best. But let me get in close so you can see her. This is Io. I said, depending on the lighting, it looks like a bright red. And if you turn like this way, it looks like a pinky red because it's a metallic, so it has a little bit of a shift okay so it's a little confusing she's a really confusing girl if you don't see it on it's like it's not what you expect like it confuses you but in a good way so it's like it's very juicy very metallic very opaque it looks as if you're wearing a metallic lipstick but she juicy she is these aren't dry down and obviously they're glosses but she's just oh i didn't want no i didn't know like I ain't no metallic lip gloss could be this good okay but I did it like mm, that's a smooth that's a smooth metallic I'm sorry I'm being proud of myself I'm being proud of myself okay okay do not do not none of y'all judge my teeth in this video I have dental problems and you're gonna leave me alone thank you I turned the video off I was talking and I was not even recording. That's how nervous I am. Okay, so now that we've done all the lip swatches, let's get into what is actually in here, what's good with them, what's good about them, and why you need them. So these guys are cruelty-free, vegan, and paraben-free. 
yes I am so proud of that and really the reason why is because I did this with all my own money there was no business grants no business loans nothing just money I saved from working doing customer service working at the chicken place working at the Dairy Queen like money I've saved from all of my jobs and I really wasn't sure I was gonna be able to make my products cruelty free let alone vegan and paraben free so the fact that I was able to accomplish all three of those things I'm very proud of these are also moisturizing for your lips these do not dry your lips out if you know me personally like I hate dry lips and I mean like hate dry lips these will not dry your lips out I will not say and anymore like these will not they have shea butter in them they have vitamin e oil in them if you are a black girl you know how important shea butter is and vitamin e oil is those are both ingredients in here these will not dry your lips out i put on chapstick like 98 times a day and i'm not exaggerating i have a brick be sitting here at all times in this video alone filming since i woke up i put on chapstick i put this on six times already today i don't play about chapped lips these are not gonna do that to you and the other thing that I've noticed with these also is I can put chapstick on and then just reapply and like I never have a problem with it. Ooh, just got some on my nail. But yes, I need y'all to know that because I don't, these are not like drying like a liquid lipstick. They are a gloss. They are meant to moisturize, juice you up. They're not going to dry you out. So in terms of consistency, they are on the thinner side of gloss. Not thinner in like their effect is thinner, but I mean like the actual like thickness like the, the juiciness they're juicy in like shine but they're not gonna be like this extra thick like sticky they don't stick like you know like when some lip glosses they'll like get stuck in the middle and they'll pop these ones don't do that they just they're on they don't like get gloopy and gross so they're thinner in that kind of way but their impact is still the same they're still bright opaque da, 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 da. as you can see there are multiple formulas so none of them are quite the same the clear the pink and the red are all formulated differently and hint hint there's obviously going to be more shades than just the first initial three we are already working on shade expansions quite a lot of them so there's none of them are going to be the same formula they're all unique in their own different way and i really oh my god i'm so proud of the screen I'm sorry I'm going down my list because I don't want to forget to tell you guys anything so of course at this point in the video you guys are wondering okay but how much do they cost where do we get them like you've shown us them all right I want them how do I get them so they are $12 each or you can buy them as a trio they are going to be available in the website as a trio for a discounted price so as a trio they will be $32 so you'll be saving $4 as opposed to spending $36 if you were to buy them individually that's up to you you can buy the whole set you can buy whichever one's your favorite whatever you want to do um shipping across the board is just standard six dollar u.s shipping very plain if you want it to get there faster if you want to get them like speedy quick you need it now i do offer expedited shipping for ten dollars if you want that but yeah i do have standard six dollar shipping we are only currently shipping within the united states i am working on getting my international shipping to a more affordable rate but as of right now it's just me and my three lip glosses so we're not shipping around the world yet but that is on my goal list so where can you get these you can get them exclusively exclusively at lunarflowercosmetics.com that is enough information i think you guys know enough about the product and what they do and what they look like and what this is about i don't really know what to say like i'm Ooh, i'm not about to get emotional i'm not about to get emotional i just put on these eyelashes i just put on this makeup i'm not about to get emotional I have been working on this for so long and this has been something that I have been wanting for so long and wanting to do since I was in high school and I kept telling myself that it was a dumb idea and that I couldn't do it and that it would never work and I finally just decided to do it and <laughs> I'm 21 now so I've been waiting to do this I think since I was like 14 or 15 <laughs> so I could have started a long time ago but I just kept telling myself like you know this isn't you're not gonna be able to do that that's not that's not gonna be for you and here we are <laughs> many years later and this is for me because i'm claiming it for myself and i'm saying that i can do this and i made this and i made a whole ass business and a whole ass product excuse my language but i need to make that very clear because a lot of people were like oh you want to do makeup how's that gonna 
make you a living like how is that that's all yes I want to do makeup and I want to sell makeup and I want to sell bomb ass cosmetics and this is what I want to do with my life and this is what I love and this this you don't understand how much this makes me happy so I am very grateful that I have been able to come to this point and that I have pushed myself to this point because there were so many times that I wanted to give up and I was like, no, you can do this. This can be you. There's room for another entrepreneur in the market and honey, it's going to be me. And I pushed myself and I said that and I did that. And here's the proof. The proof is in the pudding. So that's what I wanted to say on that. I'm sure it was pretty jumbled, but I just wanted to let you guys know, like, this is more than a business venture for me. So it's very important to me. I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys went and supported, even if you don't wear makeup, if you buy them as a gift for someone else, someone else, <laughs> someone else, <laughs> even if you buy them as a gift for someone else would make someone else. Can my lisp like, the hell down someone come get her you know you spend your whole life trying to get rid of a lisp and a stutter but when you're nervous it's always gonna come out it is it is <sighs> okay that's all I have to say. I would make me really happy if you guys went out and supported me, even if you cannot purchase, if you just support me on social media, spread the word, let people know. I want people to know about this. It's gonna be really cool. And this is just our first launch. This is just the beginning. This is just, y'all don't even know. I'm already working on more stuff. So spread the word, let people know. I would love it if you would purchase it and try it. I'd love to get feedback from people and see if they love it as much as I do because I really am passionate about these and like their formula that I stand by. Like they, I wear these on a daily basis and I love them. Like I, I'm gonna need you to try it so we can love it together, okay? Okay, um, but yeah, support me also cause I'm broke. Did I mention that I paid for all this? with my chicken money like with my drive through counter cashier money like did we support me please I'm poor <laughs> thanks um oh my god I don't know how to end this video support me everything will be available June 15th at lunarflowercosmetics.com and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you in the next one bye